way, welcome back to Never Alone Homesteading. Good morning in your area or good afternoon. Well, guys, I'm out here checking onto the meat birds, the Cornish um, broilers here. And so far, all of them has lived. So I had lost five, but today, all of them has lived. Now, they was shipped in, I believe, two or three days. I think it's three days, but, you know, biddies have to be up under a, uh, up under heat for a certain time period, about up to two weeks. And I noticed when I opened up the box, there was definitely one week, uh, and it didn't take long, it died. And then I had another one, I noticed it was weak. Uh, so anyways, then yesterday morning I came out and it seemed like they were all fine. And then I noticed that when I came back a little bit later, I'm constantly checking onto them, and there was two more dead. So, I, you know, that's, that happens. You know, I've never had it happen when I raised up my own biddies. They all lived. But these have been shipped in, and so I believe they, they gave you an extra one at, um, let's see, Myers Hatchery. And so, because I, I, they expected, you know, one or two to die. Um, so, so far they have lived. I did put extra water in there um, yesterday, and uh, I noticed that, that they're drinking a lot of water. And so I'm glad I did, because it would have come out again this morning, there wouldn't have been any water in there, but that, that would cause them to die because, you know, it was just overnight. But they've had plenty of heat and now I'm facing with the dilemma where am I going to put these meat birds because I noticed they're already outgrowing the containers that they're in. They're starting to get bigger real fast and usually when I raise up my own goodies this container is good for, I mean I've only had them two days. I think it's two days. Yeah, two days. Yeah, this is the third day. So I've only had them going on the third day and I've noticed that they're already starting to run out of room. So I'm like, gosh, what am I going to put them in? Because I got cages when they grow bigger. I have a chicken tractor to put them in when they get at that stage. But they got to be up on a heat lamp. So if you have any comments about that, leave me a comment below. Shoot me a, a message. I appreciate that so much. What you have done when you have raised up meat birds or any creative ideas that might help me out in this situation. I do have to have them on this heat lamp. So let's take a look at these uh, babies here. I'm so happy to have them. Onto this uh, year, uh, onto this homestead, I had decided that I was going to be doing new things. Last year was new things. The year before that was new things. I'm sure next year will be, be new things. But this is something I've been wanting to do. And I finally just launched out, was able to get these birds. And so now this is, this might be my, my future plan. We'll see. So they're, they're doing really good, but you notice the size. So I know that I've got to come up with a plan um, soon. We've ate a container of food since yesterday and a container the day before. I noticed that water back there is uh, down. So I definitely would have not had enough water uh, overnight. So I put that this one in there. Now I usually use that type when I have my biddies and I always put rocks in there. And the reason of that so they won't you know drown or uh, step all in and make a mess. With these birds, I haven't had a problem. They have not even stepped in it. Maybe they're a little bit bigger. They haven't even been in it. It's, it's been wonderful. So I just put that in there to make sure that they got uh, enough water overnight. And Because uh, I noticed they were drinking a lot of water. And I think drinking that water is really makes them grow. They're constantly drinking. Well, guys, just want to give you a quick update. A little black one right there. I got two more coming in June. I want to try the black birds. I heard that they... Uh, you know, predators, uh, the birds in the air, um, hawks and owls, they're less susceptible to get them. Uh, I have a lot of white chickens, so they're easy to be seen from the sky. And I usually always had Rhode Island Reds because they are good egg layers. And I, I just always, I just like them. I used to have Bantams because they are good egg, egg layers, layers, but they, uh, they lay small eggs. And, and that was fine, but... Um, I think the reason I did the bannons is, is for the fact of it is, is that um, they, put in the camera now, the fact of it is, is that they would just seem to lay all year long. Now, honestly, I can keep my chickens laying all year long. They might slim down a little bit, and but I've never had any problem. I just throw some lady mesh to them, and I, I don't throw, really throw a lot, just enough to keep them going, about a, a can full. And I've never had any problems. Matter of fact, I got so many eggs now. I've, I'm boiling some and giving them to the dogs and 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 throwing them to the chickens. 
kind of concerned about that because I don't want them to start, you know, eating eggs. I've had one egg uh, eating chicken, and of course, uh, she's no longer here, but they will consume your eggs. So really, I mean, I love that chicken. I mean, she was just a greatest, but one of the dogs got a hold of her <clears throat> and kind of took care of that. She kind of had a, a disposition about her. The other dog got out of the territory, and she didn't like it, so she took it out on the chicken. Well, she didn't mangle it or anything. She just killed it. Well, she hasn't done it anymore, and I'm really happy about that because usually when a dog kills a chicken, they'll continue killing chickens. That's what I've always been told and, and raised up to believe. And But she, I think she knows better. She was just, she just had a disposition about her of anger. It had a little anger problem. So, but she's coming out of that, and I'm thankful for that. But guys, just want to give you a quick update. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and give me a like up. Hit that, th hit, click the, the thumb. Up, you know, thumb the like button and uh, hit that bell also so you'll know when the next video is being loaded up. And guys, leave me a comment. Uh, yeah, what I can use, what what is your idea that I can uh, use to expand this area for these videos here? I know I got to do something other. I do have a box that's a little bit longer that I put my sticks in for my wood stove. I'm considering that. If I have to use that, I will. Maybe I'll build something other, but I really don't want to get in. You know, I've got other things to do. But if you've got an idea, share that with me, and I appreciate it so much. Okay, guys, I'm heading to the garden. It's beautiful outside, and I've been out there yesterday, going back out there again, and see what's going on. All right, guys, make it a great day. God bless you.